On Monday, March 8, 2021, an atmosphere of relief was almost palpable among Jamaicans waiting to access COVID-19 vaccines that would offer protection against the highly contagious and deadly coronavirus. This as the first batch of vaccines arrived on the island that afternoon. Prime Minister Andrew Holness, Health and Wellness Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton, and Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade Minister Senator Kamina Johnson-Smith were at the Norman Manley International Airport to receive the shipment. 50,000 doses of AstraZeneca vaccines arrived as a gift from the government and people of India. This precedes the majority of vaccines procured by the Jamaican government, with a total of 4 million doses scheduled to arrive in the country in the coming weeks. Within 48 hours of the arrival of the first shipment of COVID-19 vaccines, the Ministry of Health and Wellness began administering the vaccines to health workers on the front line in the battle against COVID-19 and to vulnerable Jamaicans across the country. All across Jamaica, primarily in our healthcare facilities, vaccines are being administered. So it is a historic day and it represents a major shift in the approach now that vaccines are available and we believe could signal the beginning of the end. As long as we have the supplies and the people are willing to take the vaccine, the beginning of the end for any significant threat that this COVID-19 virus represents. Public health nurse Marcia Thomas Yetman was the first Jamaican on the island to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. Nurse Thomas Yetman who has been serving the profession for up to 27 years and is employed to the Southeast Regional Health Authority, CERA, was among a group of 40 persons inoculated with the AstraZeneca vaccine at the Good Samaritan Inn in Kingston on March 11. Former Prime Minister Bruce Golding and his wife Lorna, as well as former Prime Minister PJ Patterson, were also among those who got the jab on the first day. They are encouraging other Jamaicans to do the same. Nurse Thomas Yetman says in the moments leading up to receiving the vaccine, she was nervous as she has a fear of the needle. This vaccine is safe. Thousands and thousands of people across the world have been vaccinated with this vaccine. And um, they're still alive, they're still doing well, and compl complications are minimal based on what we have been told from studies done. And so I would encourage persons to sign up and get your vaccines as soon as it's available to you. I am recommending all Jamaicans, especially like me, the vulnerable, to be vaccinated. I'm begging you. Today is my first shot, thank God. It's a relief. It was an awesome experience. The organization here is fantastic. Keeping also with so all of the protocols, so the social distancing, the mask, and of course the sanitizing. The shot does not hurt, little burn does not hurt, no more than any other vaccine. And it's the start of freedom. It's the first step. As you know, those of us over 60 are on stay at home orders. It's been a year, Minister. And it's time for us to get back to normal life, to exercise, etc. And this is the start. Not over, the journey has to wait for the second shot, but it's time. And I think it's a relief for the country that we have got to this point and you have another piece in the armory. Doesn't mean we can stop masking, social distancing, sanitizing, but now you have your fourth. Day one of the vaccination program continued across some 70 sites within the four regional health authorities where some 3,280 persons within the vulnerable groups received the first dose of the vaccine. Healthcare workers in St. James turned out in large numbers to take the first of the two jabs of the COVID-19 vaccine. I'm happy to lead by example. It was a smooth process. I was ready for it. I've been looking forward to the vaccine reaching. I'm very excited and I'm so happy that I'm here today and I have received my first dose of the vaccine. Community health aide Philip Dehaney is included among the first set of persons in Jamaica to be inoculated against the coronavirus. Being a member of the health sector, I decided to lead by example, took the vaccine. So far, there's nothing just like a regular 
we shot. There's nothing really much to feel. March 10, exactly one year after the first case of the coronavirus was confirmed in the country, Jamaicans are feeling relief at the start of the program to give citizens access to vaccines against the coronavirus.